There's one. Oh, yeah. Our first fish, guys. Come in here, buddy. Come in here. Yeah. All right, guys. Here's our first one. A little smallmouth here, a little dark smolly. On the crawl. Thanks for biting, buddy. You're number one. Hey y'all, welcome back and thanks for tuning in. Before I get into today's video, I want to take this time to thank each and every one who has watched and subscribed. This channel just recently passed 1,000 subscribers. It's been a journey. It's not been easy. But I'll tell you what, I've learned a lot from you guys from all the feedback, from all the comments and some of the friendships that I've made by doing this. You guys are what makes it possible. So again, thank you very much. I thought today I'd do a fun little challenge here on the Gondot River. I am fishing a different section here in Wyoming County. As you can see right behind me, guys, there's some really good water. And that was our first little smallmouth there. I tell you what, the challenge is going to be the Helgramite versus the crawl. We caught that on the Nico crawl, the 3.2 inch mud bug. And for the next three hours, that's what we're going to do. It's a fun little challenge here, nothing scientific. But we're going to start with the crawl. We've already caught one. So for the next 90 minutes, we're going to throw that crawl. Once we get done with that, the next 90 minutes, we're going to throw the Helgramite. So at the end of the third hour, guys, hopefully we have a winner. If I have time after the challenge, I want to throw some swim baits. I'm going to have to start doing that more. I've got some that I do want to throw. So we'll see what the weather does. We'll see how this little challenge goes. But again, if we have time, we'll throw some swim baits. We may throw something else. Who knows? We'll see what happens. But guys, I hope you come along with me here on this one on the Guy and Dot River, some new water. Hopefully we have a winner, but hopefully we have some fun. So come with me here. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Some good looking water here, guys. I'm hoping we can land a few today. Show you what I'm using. That's the mud bug color. That is the 3.2 inch Nico crawl here on one eighth ounce. Got a net head, but it's an offset hook. So we'll see what happens. We got some current. We do have some deep spots. I think that eighth ounce will be about right. We will see. Oh, we had another hit right there. There's one. There's another one. Small one. Come in here. Little small mouth. About like that other one. I've had some pecking over in there. I'd say it was this fella right here. He's wanting to go back. We'll let him go. Number two. I think this is our best one. You ain't much, but number three. Right there. There's another one, guys. Pretty little smallmouth, number three here on the crawl. Hit it as soon as it hit the water. See you, buddy. Folks, I hope I can get this challenge in. I threw that one crawl on a tree, lost it. I'm down to my last one. I've got one Hilger mite, so I'm going to have to stay out of the trees. But I changed hooks. That's a kind of a bullet style, one eighth ounce. Kind of a little bit bigger hook, but you can kind of see how I've got it rigged there. We just got to stay out of the trees. If we can, maybe we can complete this little challenge. But uh, so far, we've got three fish here in about the first 30 minutes on this crawl. So we'll see what happens as we move down the river. You can kind of see some good looking water. Caught that one right there at the edge of that big rock, but we're gonna move on down here and you can kind of see what I'm getting into, some good looking water here. Little throw, man, these little pockets. We're gonna find some fish because we got some deep holes here, big rocks, and I'm sure there's some smallmouth in there. We'll just have to see if they're hungry, see if they want this crawl. So far, three of them has. Gotta be some fish in here, man. Good looking spot. So far, just three. There's one. We got another one. We got number four. Is this a rock bass? I believe it is. Let's see. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, man. Look there. Little rock bass on the crawl. He makes number four. We caught a few of them the other day. If he's straightened out, he might be five inches. 
We'll see you, man. All right. Folks, I believe that is the first rock bass I have caught on this crawl. I have caught several this year. I caught, I think, four or five maybe in that last video. But that's the first one on the Nico crawl. You can see, man, this looks really good. I hope we hope we get into some. We got, I think, maybe 30, 40 minutes left before we have to put the Helgramite on. But so far, we've caught four on the crawl. There's one. There's another one, guys. This is number five. Another small fish here. I think it's a little smally. At least he's fighting like it. Oh, there he went. Well, I can't actually count that when I did not touch the fish, so we're still at number four. Looks like a good spot right here. Guys, we got about 15 minutes. Don't have long, we'll put that Helgramite on. So far we have caught four fish on the crawl. We had the fifth one hooked, but we did not land it. So officially we've landed four. Well, folks, time is up on the crawl. We end up landing four fish. I had a decent one hooked that got off, but we only landed four in 90 minutes. So that is the number to beat. We'll throw the Helgramite on. I'm gonna put that natural four and a quarter inch Nico Helgramite and finish this challenge, guys, and we'll see We'll see how it ends, but the number again to beat is four, so uh, stay tuned here. Let's see what happens. All right, folks, I'm getting ready to put this Helgramite on again. I'm gonna show you what kind of hook I'm using. That's a 1 8 ounce offset hook there. I'm not sure what size it is, but right here's the Helgramite. Right here is the natural color, as you can see, man. You can't tear them up, but I'm gonna show you how I, I rigged this. Texas rig, right here we go. I'm gonna go in, you can kind of look at your hook here, and you can see the space between the weight and that bend there. That's probably a half an inch. That's probably how far you wanna go in. But uh, here's how we do it. Just go right in the center. Like I said, go down about a half inch anyway on this particular hook and then you're gonna wanna come out. Slide it up your hook. Like that right there. And you got it in this position. And about right there at the end of the hook, that's where you wanna go in at. So we're gonna take that hook and we're gonna go in about right there in the middle. And you can come up, you can kind of see that little slit in the back of the Helgramite. You can let your hook lay right there. And uh, kind of lays nice and straight, guys. That's how I have it rigged. Let's see if we can catch one on it. Oh, God, already. Come in here, buddy. He slammed it. It's our first one. All right. That didn't take long. All right, guys, our first one. Yeah, buddy. What you got going on up there, man? He's got some parasites on him or something. Anyway, guys, there is number one on the Helgramite. Later, buddy. Yeah, guys, that didn't take very long. Maybe second, third cast. But we got the next 90 minutes, hour and a half, to see what we can do on this Helgramite. So far, that's number one. The number to beat is four. And man, I'm telling you, that looks good. Look at that. We're just getting into this hole. And you can kind of see what's ahead of me. Uh-oh. There's one. There's one. Yeah, buddy. What do we got? We got, got a decent fish, maybe. Yeah. Come in here. You are the best, man. All right. Number two on the Helgramite. He might be 10 inches. It's kind of chunky fish, though. We'll see you, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here comes one. Yeah, buddy. Number three here. Not a big one. About the same size here. Oh, man. Chill out, buddy. Number three here. He's a little smaller. A little smaller, dude. Later, buddy. 
a good spot right there. This is what I'm in, man. Looks like a deep hole. I don't know if I can get around or what I'm going to do, but see what happens here. Well, folks, I have moved locations. I could not get around that deep hole. I fished for about 30 minutes on that Helgramite. So far, we've caught three. We've got 60 minutes left, and we've got to beat four. But I am in a different location, and I'll tell you what, this probably looks even better than where I was before. Let me show you some of this, what it looks like here, guys. Just uh, check some of the beauty out here, man. This is some great looking water that I've never fished before here on the Gyandot, different part of the Gyandot, but I mean, it's even good up around that curve. This whole stretch looks good. But guys, I hope you stay with me here. We got about 60 minutes left on this challenge. Will that Helgramite beat the crawl? Stay tuned, guys, and we'll find out. Another one. This ties it up, guys. All righty. Another little smaller here, number four. Let's let him go. Good, buddy. Now we got a little drizzle here, guys. I'm somewhat under a tree here. Let's see if we can catch one. Time is running out. Only about 15 minutes left here on this Helgramite. There's one, guys, there's number five. If we can get him in here. Only got about 10 minutes left. Is he gonna stay hooked? Come in here, buddy. All right, number five. He's about like them other ones, about 10, 11 inches. But you make number five, buddy. You broke the tie. A little smolly. We'll see you, buddy. You come back. You come back, didn't you, buddy? Number six. All right, guys, number six, and time is running out. Not a big one, about eight inches, but we're gonna throw him back. Hey, buddy. Boom. All right, folks, looks like the challenge is over. We finally did get it in. We do have a little rain here, but it's not too bad. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse, but the challenge might be over, but my day is not over, so I hope you stick with me here. I'm gonna do a little bit more fishing, but that was a fun little challenge, guys, nothing scientific. Sometimes you just want to put baits head to head and just see which one catches more fish. We caught a total of 10, not too bad. But uh, I'll tell you what, you can throw either bait and catch fish. You've seen that today. I just want to do a fun little challenge here. Something something to do on the guide dot, and it's another beautiful section of the guide dot. I'm going to show you this water. I mean, it just looks like it keeps getting better as I go up through here. That's where I caught that fish. But you can kind of see what I'm in here, guys beautiful water even up ahead it looks even better so i'm not going to stop fishing unless it rains me out so i hope you stay with me here let's see if we can catch some more fish oh god we got a hit right there off a of bat man all right i'll show you what i'm using here guys this is four inch z-man swim bait this is called the diesel minnow z in a pearl color i've got that on a one eighth ounce weighted hook there you can kind of see kind of running weedless but we got a hit there. I haven't used this. Haven't caught any fish on it. But uh, hopefully we can catch one on it here today. I'm gonna throw it here a little while and we'll see what happens. Oh, something hit it again. This one here, I think you get more action, guys, if you reel it a little bit slower. It has some great action coming through the water. Don't know how that pearl color is gonna do. But uh, it, that is that elastic plastic and it works perfect on that hook so uh, I'm hoping I can catch my first fish here on this today we'll see oh 
Oh yeah, something hit it. Oh yeah, come in here, mister. We got one on the swim bait. All right. He nailed it too, buddy. He's got a mouthful here. All right, guys, look at him. Not a big fish, but uh, he's a healthy fish. That's our first one on the swim bait. Well, guys, we got our first one on the swim bait here. Just wanted to try it out here today, if I had time. And we do. Got a little smally there, not very big, but he nailed that. This is some deep water. I don't know how far I'm going to be able to get, but I'll just uh, try to do the best I can here. It is super deep on that other side. I'm telling you what, you can cast this thing a mile. Again, I'm just using a slow retrieve here. I think it's going to give it more action. And it'll also let it sink down there a little deeper. But I'm hoping we can put that in front of a big one. Well, folks, I'm going to have to wrap it up today. It's mid-afternoon. The bite has slowed down. But we was able to complete the challenge today. That was the goal. The crawl versus the helgramite. And the helgramite come out the winner 6-4 to four for a total of 10 catches. We even caught one on the swim bait, the diesel minnow Z pearl color by Z-Man. So I'll be throwing more of that. I'm going to start throwing a little bit more swim baits and just throw a variety of things. I just wanted to do that challenge today. It did try to rain, but uh, just a little drizzle. Wasn't bad. It's not raining now. Just been a little otherwise cloudy day, humid day here at the end of August. But anyways, I'm going to wrap it up from Wyoming County here on the Gondot River. Guys, you have... Ben River Fishing with Frank. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.